everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a user role. User roles are created to assist you in assigning specific roles to a user to allow them to have access in Kidsoft. To access the user roles, you can click on your service menu and under configuration, click on user accounts. You're then going to click on the user roles tab. We will automatically display system user roles. These system user roles cannot be edited. You can assign the user roles, however, you cannot edit the system ones. If you would like to replicate the user role for the system, you can create your own. Please note, if you would like to give someone user role access provider management, you would need to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. So to create your own user role, you can click to add a new role. You can name your role. And you can then switch on what you would like your users to be able to use in Kidsoft some user role attributes to point out. Super user is the top user access in Kidsoft. So therefore this gives a user access to the CCS panel and also to the configuration menu. Account management gives a user access to the provider management screens in your group access. So they can access things like entering in the device activation code, updating bank accounts for a service or for the provider, creating temporary closure for your service, et cetera. So lots of things in and around your CCS provider management. You have access to financial reports, which will sit under your financial menu and also then your operational reports. If you would like them to view confidential data, so this is when you create comments and any communications in Kidsoft and you tick the confidential box. And then all of our features, so for iCheckIn, suspensions, iParent portal, etc. Scrolling down, you can also have the ability to select the specific notifications you would like your users to have access to on the Kidsoft Information Centre home screen. So for example, there may be only specific CCS message notifications you think is applicable for your staff members. And you can also enter in a data lock so this means you are preventing your users from editing any data in the past. So for example, if we enter the number seven, it means we have edited the data and stopping users from changing any data, including bookings, payments, session reports, etc., for any more than seven days in the past. Once you've completed all of your fields, you can click update role and it will create that user role for you. For any further information on how to create user roles, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.